Today I'm going to be showing you a complete tutorial on how to make AI videos and add hooks just like this. Give me five minutes and I'll show you how you can use AI video ads to create a marketing flywheel. So now I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Google VO3 to make videos just like the ones you just saw. So if we hop over to my computer screen, you can see we are in what is called Google Flow. This is where we're going to be able to create the Google VO3 videos. Now, in order to get this, you're going to have to go to labs.google.com slash flow. You'll get to a page that looks just like this. You go ahead and click Create with Flow. Then it will invite you to sign up with your Google account. Now, in order to do this, you are going to need to go ahead and get a Google AI Pro or Ultra account. Now, I'm using Google AI Ultra, which is usually $250 a month. Right now, they have a special. And that is going to allow me to create a wide variety of different flow videos. So if you take a look here, it's got highest level of access to flow. Now you can use the Google AI Pro, but you're gonna be able to create maybe around 10 or so videos. Whereas with the ultra version, you're gonna be able to create around 100 videos, at least at the time of filming. This may update over time. Now, what you're gonna be able to do is choose whichever account you wanna start with. And if you're just playing around with this, you can do Google AI Pro. Right now, they're giving away the first month for free. So you can test this out and follow along. You'll get into a page that looks just like this. And what I'm going to show you today is how you can create all of these different types of videos inside of Google Flow. So before we start and actually show you how to build your own character and your own face, where I'm actually going to show you how you can take a picture of yourself, create a description of a person that you can use inside of your videos that will loosely look like you. Before we get into that, I actually want to show you how to create a video that maybe doesn't have you incorporated into it. So I'm actually going to walk you through how to create the news anchor video. So we're going to go ahead and click new project. And as you can see here, we've got this text to video prompt. Now what we want to do is there's a few ways that you can do this. You can just type to create a video. You can use frames to video. So if there's a specific image, you can combine these together and create a video. Or you can even use ingredients where you can add different images. Now, the challenge with this, though, is you can't currently use the highest level version of video, VO3, with these ingredients. Now, in the future, they'll change this. By the time you're watching this, it might have changed. But right now, we're going to focus on text to video. And text to video will allow us to use the model when we go over here to the settings, and I'll show you this again in a second, VO3 quality with beta audio. What that means is we're going to be able to use audio and the highest quality version of VO to be able to go ahead and craft these videos. As you can see, it's going to use a certain number of credits. We'll have credits in our account based on whatever plan you choose. So right now, I want to show you how you can create a video with the news anchor, just like the one that I did. So create a video of a news anchor saying, breaking news. You can now use VO3 to create AI-generated videos. Have this be shot inside of a TV news studio and have the words breaking news in the background on the TV. Please do not include any captions or subtitles in this video. Now, this is important because sometimes it will actually include these captions. And even when you say don't include it, it might still do it. But that would just mean you have to choose a few different variations. This is just going to get better over time. So we're going to go ahead and click up here in the settings. We're going to choose the model VO3 quality with a beta audio. That's the one we want to do to actually have audio inside of the video. Then we're going to go ahead and click generate. So it can take about a minute or so to actually generate the videos, but once you have them, it's pretty exciting. And sometimes you have to regenerate. It's not always perfect the first time, but let's take a look. Breaking news. You can now use Google VO3 to create AI-generated videos. So that is a great video right here. That is awesome. Turned out really, really well. You can see it even adds the noise at the beginning for breaking news. It has this news anchor talking about this. You can even see it has a reflection on the desk. This is insane. I mean, think about the possibilities. And here's the crazy part. This 
is the worst this will ever be. It's just gonna get better and better and better. So you can see we've got this video. Now you can see there's a little glitch at the end where she keeps talking at the end. You can see like, and she's not actually saying anything. It probably got confused because the amount of text is a little shorter than the eight seconds it gives you to render. So what you could do is you could put into the prompt, make sure not to say anything at the end of the video once she completes her sentence. So sometimes you have to be a little more specific about that and re-render. But then let's take a look at the second one because it actually gave us two variations. You can, in the settings, choose anywhere from one to four variations to render at a time. Usually I'll do two, but if I want some more extra variations, I'll render, I'll render four. Breaking news, you can now use Google Veo 3 to create AI-generated videos. So you can see there, another great one too, and two different variations. And if you do more variations, you'll get even more different types of people talking. Now here's the other thing too, in this prompt, you can also, let's say you wanted a male reporter, you could go ahead and just put that in and you know you could say, create a video of a news anchor man saying breaking news. You can now use Google Veo 3 and it'll create another version. So. It has so many amazing possibilities right here. And actually what I just did, I'm gonna show you how that works. So let's say you've gone ahead and looked at any of these videos and you wanna redo a prompt. Well, all you gotta do is go down here to reuse prompt and then you can re-edit this. So you can do create a video of a news anchor man saying breaking news. You can now use Google VO3. And at the bottom, let's go ahead and say, once they finish talking, they should just look into the camera, just like that. And let's go ahead and do that prompt quickly. All right, so as you can see, now we have another variation with a couple of men as the news reporter. So let's take a look here. Breaking news, you can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos. Breaking news, you can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos. So if you take a look at that, you can see how we can change the video and exactly how it looks. Now let's do one more variation of this video and then I'm gonna show you how you can export these videos. I'm also gonna show you how you can put yourself into these AI generated videos and create some ad hooks or videos like the ones I showed you earlier that have somebody that looks like you. Now here's what we added to the last prompt. At the beginning of the video, have a breaking news logo sting play with a sound and then lead into the shot of the news anchor. While the news anchor is talking, the camera should pan around him, just like a high production value TV studio. Make this shot very professional as if it was on a TV network. The face of the news anchor should be serious throughout until the last second when he says, just like this one, when he gets a nervous look on in his eyes as he finishes the sentence. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and create four variations so we can have a few different ones to choose from. All right, so let's see what we've got. Here's the first one. Breaking news. You can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos just like this one. Wow, that's really, really good. Let's, let's take a look at this next one here. Breaking news. You can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos just like this one. So you can see that it did add a little bit of this text here. Sometimes that'll happen when you say, please don't include subtitles or captions. It does do a good job removing it, but in this one, it had it there. So in that case, you just have to re-render it if that happens to you. Let's take a look at this next one here. Breaking news. You can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos just like this one. So this is one of my favorites so far. Let's take a look at this last one. Breaking news, you can now use Google VO3 to create AI generated videos just like this one. So you can see here, this one had a little bit of the text, this one had a little bit of the text. I really like this first one and then this last one. I think that the logo sting, I think overall this first one may actually be the best. I think the person talking here, the way the camera moves is a little bit more powerful here with this one. But I think the overall best is actually this first one here. So let's say I wanted to go and export that. What we can do is we can go ahead and click this little export button and we can do regular size or upscaled. 720p will download right away. And then when you go ahead and do upscaled for 1080p, it might take a few minutes. Once it's done, it will automatically download and then you'll have the full video with the video and sound right here that you could put into any project. 
All right, so now we're gonna shift gears and dive into how you can create a Google VO3 video with your face in the video, or at least someone that looks like you. Now in the future, you'll likely be able to upload images directly to Google VO3. And you can currently do that with VO2, but the output isn't quite as good and it doesn't have sound. So there's a workaround. What we can do is use Gemini to actually create a description of what you look like and then use that in our prompt to create a version of you inside of a video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to gemini.google.com. Now Gemini comes with Flow and Google's AI Pro or AI Ultra. Then you're gonna upload an image of yourself, a headshot of yourself. And then you're gonna ask Gemini, create a detailed description of this person that I can use in Google VO3 to be able to tell the AI exactly what they look like so we can recreate him in the video. So you'd go ahead and click submit and it will analyze the headshot that you put in and actually create a prompt that you can use. All right, so as you can see, it created a prompt here. And as you can see, it's got details around the facial features. It's got details around clothing, background and lighting. And then it will also have some attributes as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a prompt to combine this all together and not include details about what's in the background of the photo or the clothes that you're currently wearing in the photo because you may wanna change that. In the video, the background could be different, the clothing could be different, you could put yourself in an astronaut suit or wearing you know, medieval costume, whatever it happens to be like the videos I showed you earlier. So what we're gonna say is combine these together to include all, the, all of the details and attributes of the person, but do not include any details about the background of the photo or specific clothing. And as you can see, it put together this. You can see it put the details here and then it generated an image of exactly what this person will look like. See how that's actually relatively close. It doesn't look exactly like me, but it's getting close to looking like me. And so that gives you the ability to go ahead and take this and put the details in so that you're gonna be able to generate that person inside of the video. You can either use this description or you can use the original full description that's up here as well. Either way will work, but this is a combined description that'll make it easy to incorporate that person directly into the videos. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to put yourself as a king or queen in a throne room. We're gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how this works. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And what we're gonna do is we are going to use the description that we generated in Google Gemini of you in addition to a prompt. All right, so here's the overall prompt. Create a video of a king in a medieval throne room declaring that I declare that AI videos are the future and that you should subscribe to this channel. The throne room should be in a large medieval throne room with stained glass windows and a big throne in the center of the room. It should be a regal and positive atmosphere. It's clear this is a good kingdom. Please do not include any captions or subtitles in the video. The king should have this general description. And then you can see the appearance. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is copy this from Gemini. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab all of this and then go ahead and make sure that it is turned on to VO3 quality best audio. And we're gonna do two outputs here and then go ahead and click generate. All right, so here are the videos. Let's take a look. I declare that AI videos are the future and that you should subscribe to this channel. That's amazing. And you can see it even has sound in the background. I mean, this, this AI videos are blowing my mind, blowing my mind. So you can see how powerful that is. Let's take a look at the second one. I declare that AI videos are the future. <laughs> and that you should so the hilarious thing is how good this one is and how bad this one is. And I think this is actually a really, really great illustration of where AI videos are today. And I did not just create, like, like set this up this way. It just happened to be this way. The first video is phenomenal. It's got background music. It's panning in slowly. It's amazing. The second video, it's got this, you know, weird subtitle text that I even told it not to include. You know, the voice is a little odd, doesn't look quite as good. I think this is a great illustration that sometimes it's gonna turn out great, and sometimes it might not, even from the same prompt. Now, this is just gonna get better over time, but I really do encourage you, even if you don't get the first, the output the first time you do it, to re-render it, to maybe change the prompt a little bit, to create four variations, because you'll get what you're looking for. And that's really been my experience overall using Google VO3, is it takes a few shots 
at it, but once you have a good version of the video, you're golden. Because you can use that inside of your content as an ad, as a hook, whatever it happens to be. So let's go ahead and download this one. Again, you click download, and let's download the upscaled version. All right, so as you can see, we now have downloaded that video. Let's take a look at the finished product. I declare that AI videos are the future and that you should subscribe to this channel. Wow, I mean, it's just incredible what AI is able to do. And now you know exactly how to put yourself into an AI video and how to create AI videos from scratch. I'm gonna show you a few more prompts that I use to create some of the examples I showed you earlier and a few additional examples as well. That way you can go ahead and take these and use them for yourself. But if you found this video valuable, please make sure to like the video. Comment down below, how are you gonna use AI videos? We're actually creating AI ad hooks. So we're actually creating hooks that you can use as a YouTube ad or really on any platform to capture people's attention because you could do things that honestly in the past would cost thousands and thousands of dollars to produce just with a simple prompt. It is incredible. And so we're using that inside of our videos, but you can also use this to create AI generated B-roll or social media content. There are so many possibilities for how you can use these AI videos and of course, just for fun and to experiment and to see what is possible. Now, if you actually wanna learn how to take videos like this and turn them into actual ads that you run on YouTube or other platforms, I've got my full tutorial and training on how to run YouTube ads. I'll link it in the annotation, the video here on YouTube. And I'll also put a link down in the description below to our YouTube ad strategy PDF that will show you how to turn videos like this into a full ad and how to target the right people at the right time on YouTube. So now I'm gonna show you some bonus prompts inside of VO3 that you can use as well. So let's take a look here at how I turned myself into an astronaut. I will show you the video and then I'll read you the prompt. If you're looking to skyrocket the leads and sales in your business, give me five minutes and I'll show you how you can use video ads to create a marketing flywheel. So this is actually a hook that we used inside of one of our YouTube ads. And so what I wanna do is show you exactly how we generated this. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at the prompt. So first off I say, do not include any text or captions in this video. Please no captions on this video, this is important. Create a video of an, a YouTube astronaut in a YouTube themed rocket ship saying, if you're looking to skyrocket the leads and sales in your business, give me five minutes, dot, dot, dot. So basically the prompt there. The video should be of an astronaut talking and sharing this message from a spaceship. The camera starts outside of the rocket ship and zooms in through the main porthole window in one continuous shot. The spaceship is themed as a YouTube spaceship with a YouTube play button in certain spots in the background. The astronaut's face is clearly visible and here's his general description. And then I have the description of me. So as you can see, that prompt allowed me to create that video. Now, here's the thing. I didn't immediately get that prompt in this final video. I created a few different variations to actually get the prompt that I was looking for. And that's, I think, the key. You might have to do this a few times in order to refine the prompt and get better and better until you have the finished version that you're actually looking for. All right, so here's another one that I created. Let's take a look here. If you're not using AI in your advertising, you're practically living in medieval times. So as you can see, I appear there. I say that if you're not using AI in your advertising, you're practically living in medieval times. Let's take a look at the prompt. Do not include any text or captions in this video. Create a video of the YouTube king walking down a medieval street saying, if you're not using AI in your advertising, you're practically living in medieval times. Give me five minutes and I'll show you how you can use the AI video ads to create a marketing flywheel. So as you can see, a prompt as simple as that creates something as good as that as an ad. All right, so now I'll show you a prompt for putting myself on a roller coaster. Let's take a look here. If your business feels like it's on a marketing roller coaster, Give me five minutes and I'll show you how you can use video ads to create a marketing flywheel. So as you can see, this is another ad hook that we created. And here is what we did. Do not include any text captions in this video. Create a video of a tech guy with glasses on a roller coaster saying, if your business feels like it's on a marketing roller coaster, give me five minutes and I'll show you how you can use video ads to create a marketing flywheel. Have this be a dramatic video of the person on the roller coaster. The person should be delivering their marks during the full video. The tech guy should have this general description. So as you can see from that, we created four variations and then I chose which one I liked the best. So 
That is how to use Google VO3 in order to create AI generated videos that you can use in your content, you can use in your ads, and so much more. Now, if you're looking to learn how to leverage the power of YouTube ads, that's what we talk about here. So go ahead and take a look at that video, I'll link above, and also my free PDF down below for how to actually craft and create YouTube ads that you can use, uh, of course, with AI, but also AI ad targeting. And if you found this video valuable, be sure to like the video, subscribe, let me know how you're using AI videos in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.